Okay, good. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly break down the, we did the shot coverage for the blocker, and we're going to go through, direct this, and think about our shots. We talked about the shots. The shots are we need an establishing shot. We should also use close-ups, mediums uh, for exaggerating emotion and also to talk about dialogue. Shot reverse shot for that dialogue and continuity. And we're going to kind of map out this scene. So the first thing you gotta think about is your 180 degree rule. For those that don't remember what that is, it means that once you establish yourself, there's going to be an imaginary line that is created where you don't wanna jump over that line because it's going to make everything look uh, weird. You can think about it as like a stage of, of watching for an audience. So our 100 degree line is going to be right here. He's going to hear the knocking coming from this right here. And um, Silas is going to be entering from here. We also need a backpack for a prop. Silas, you got a backpack? Get that, and then we're gonna go through this script, and uh, you're gonna see how we would get the, the shots for it. Also a couple of tips. So first thing I'm going to do is look here, read this. Alex stands in the bedroom staring at their closet door. In this case, we have this, cl this closet right here. So Alex stands in the bedroom staring at the closet door with hesitation, reaches slowly for the doorknob. First, we need to establish, we need to get our establishment shot. So we go right here, Silas, you're going to be outside the door for now. You're going to be staring intently at that closet right there, Gabe. Okay? Yep, and come a little bit farther from it. Yep, right there. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get our establishing shot. Now, usually for your establishing shot, Gabe stays straight ahead. Usually for your establishing shot, what you're going to do is get, you're going to get all of the context of the room where you're situated but also you can bring a little flavor to it by taking the angle down, for instance, or taking the angle up. I'm going to get it from here. You can also do some sort of tracking shot, but this is my establishing shot. Establishes where he is at in the room, what we're looking at, and the entrance that, that um, Silas is gonna be coming into. Got our establishing shot. What we need now is uh, standing straightly at the door, stand where you are, don't move. So, um, Alex reaches slowly towards the doorknob to open it. So, a couple of shots I can get here. First one, I want to really exaggerate this, uh, the emotion of this. He's staring straightly, intently at what's going on. I'm going to get a really close extreme shot here. So, we have him staring very, really intently. And what I got is this shot right here. Okay? So, that right there is going to be staring straight ahead. So. I now have two shots that I have for coverage. I have my establishing shot and I have my close-up shot. And now that doorknob, I'm gonna go reach for the doorknob. So if you come over here, you're gonna see that what I wanna do is I want, I want him to come in, not yet, I'm gonna tell you when. So right here, stay, stay just like this. And I'm going to have his hand come into the shot right here. Get your hand away. So your hand is going to go from here to here. Now, notice too that I'm telling him all of the directions. I'm the director. I want him to do exactly what I'm saying in order to get the shot. He doesn't necessarily see what's on the camera, so he doesn't know where that positioning is. So it's very, uh, it's very important that you're communicating effectively so they know what the shot is. So your hand's going to start right here on you right. and it's going to slowly reach. And when you slowly reach, you're going to go like this and tremble your hand and, om and basically almost touch it, but not, okay? very slowly, and I'm gonna tell you when to start, oh. and put it right here, and action, really slowly, really slowly, and good. So, got that shot, and as we get that shot, we have to think about the next part where Casey is going to be coming in. So, Casey puts their coat down on the floor. So, as he's reaching for that, we also need a shot of Casey coming in. I'm gonna tell you when to come in. So we're gonna say action. You're gonna come in and throw down your bag and come right here. Notice that there's choreography going on here too. It's very important that you have that continuity that's, go that's going to happen. So uh, uh, Silas is gonna come right here, put his bag down right here, and then look up right here, okay? And say, I knew, you're gonna say in the, in the script it's gonna be a little different, but I knew that test was important. I studied all day and didn't get a good grade. So, okay, so you're gonna say that, but you're gonna come in, put your bag down right here, and look up over here, 
okay, as you're saying that. Now, I'm also going to get that shot of him going like this and you coming in so I have something to, to match on the action. Matching on the action is really important because it's going to allow you to cut from this scene into this one and have a little bit of, of motion that's going to connect those two scenes. So you're gonna come in and say, I knew I was, I, I was gonna do bad on that test. I studied all day and, did, and it didn't work, whatever, okay? Uh, so I'm gonna say action and you're gonna come in, okay? So go out, you're gonna stand right here. Okay. You're gonna do this hand trembling again, okay? And what I tell you, okay? So both of you know what you're doing for this. You're gonna stand straight here, yep, just like that. And action. I knew that was a hard test. Yep, and we're gonna do that again. You're gonna crouch down. Remember, it's really important that all the, the components are done because then you when, you when you cut to it, it's going to be something that is, um, that's going to seamlessly go into each other. So it's important that you go, come down and put your bag down and start rifling through your bag. Okay. So come in, come down and kneel as you're saying that, okay? okay. Do we want smaller trembles or bigger or bigger trembles? Like Good question. So I would say a little bit slower, a little bit less. Like that? Yeah. Are you good, Silas? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Ready? Okay. So come, go back out and action. I knew that was an important test. I studied all day. Soon I got a job for on it. Perfect. Excellent. 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 So, what I like to do in these situations right here is uh, I will say freeze. Sometimes I'll say freeze. So when at, when you're looking down like this, and then I'll shift the camera over in position, and we'll continue from there. But. Um, what you can also do is just do the same scene with the same chore um, choreography from a different part. So we're gonna go back into the hallway and we're going to do the scene again. And I'm going to be right here and watch what happens. He's going to crouch and when we put it all together, I'm gonna to go from this scene of him coming in, the moment that he crouches like this, I'm gonna to cut to this scene. So I'm gonna match on the action. Okay, so we're gonna do that again. You're gonna start right here. Should my hand be on the door? Nope, you're good, we're good because it was right here when we started and we're gonna do that same scene, but from this part, so your same action. So going from here to over here, okay? And you're gonna come into the frame right here, okay? So ready? When I say action and action. Always very important. I started really hard, but this is a lot. Okay. And S, or um, cut. So, what we have, you can come and see this. So we have this right here, and then we cut right here, when he starts to kneel, to this shot right here, and we kind of move up into the frame, okay? So, that is probably, think about how long that we took that. That is about three eighths of a page, okay? So, uh, you see how much direction is going in this, right? You're going to choreograph pieces of the shot. You're going to think about your coverage. In that, we got the establishing shot. We got the close-up shot. We got another close-up shot. We choreographed the scene of him walking in and made sure that he was kneeling because that was an important part of matching on the action. We did all of that, communicated to the actors exactly what we wanted, and actors were also communicating with us. Do you want a big treble or a small treble? So, a lot of communication, a lot of telling people what are, what are going on, a lot of executive orders being made, a lot of attention to the details, and that's how you're going to be shooting your shots.